number 24 here it is the Harbour Diamonds taking on the Rashmi Mendipur Wizards. Well, the Harbour Diamonds, this is their last chance to find a win in this tournament and go out with some pride. Whereas for the Rashmi Mendipur Wizards, if they clock a win today, they put themselves into that top four and they will qualify for the semi-finals. Good cricket indeed is what we're looking forward to this afternoon. So Manoj Tawari, he sent the coin up and it seemed to come down with snow on it and unfortunately didn't fall in his favor. So the Wizards, they won the toss and they've decided to have a field first. This is how the Diamonds line up, headed up by their captain Manoj Tawari. He's been pushing himself up the order. He's been in impressive form. Abhijit there with the bat, Prias, the bat and the spinner. And then you've got the, the batting and seam performance of Shashank and Badal, who can hit a big ball. Captained there by Sudip Chatterjee and Ridiman Saha, the, cap, the keeper, who come in up the top alongside Vivek Garab. So, some really impressive hitting from him and good spin. That man on screen has to play a blinder today. Great name, not great numbers for Abhishek Bhagat. Maybe Deepak Kumar to start proceedings with the ball. He's already he's got a slip in, so we're going attacking field straight up. Fantastic start, just what you want. Deepak right on the money from ball one. That's a good shot. That's a lovely shot. Just stepped back, gave himself room and slashes it through the covers. Steps back, gives himself room and there's no one out there. Fielder doesn't even bother giving chase. There you go again, in the air. Sudip Chatterjee underneath it and takes it. Keeps his cool under pressure as expected. Manoj Tiwari trying to break free. Possibly a slow delivery and he departs. And that's the end of Manoj Tiwari for the end of uh, the, pre the league, of course, for the last game. Manoj Tiwari, he goes for 15, Harbour Diamonds 26 for one. And the new batter out in the middle, Prayas Rebarman, after Manoj Tiwari departed. Hey! And that's gone fine enough, and he's going to pick up four. Gets a wicket. That's what you call a left-arm spinner helping a fellow left-arm spinner. I've always known in life when to leave it to the others. So he's gone for a runner ball 15. It's 32 for two. Shashank Singh, the new batter. That's uh, dragging on to the leg side. That'll go for four. No stopping it at the Eden Gardens outfield. Using the pace of the ball. Once you haven't dived, young man, ask somebody to fetch the ball back. This could be trouble. This could be trouble. Ooh, he's just got over. First six of the innings and uh, just measured that like a golfer, man. 121 yards to the pin. And this, oh, another lovely. This is again anything on the leg side, helping it along for another four. Yeah, he'll hold out. He'll hold out. There's not. That's what Vivek Singh does. He'll give you no pace and he'll just put it in the right areas more often than not. Yeah, so it's just a slow ball cutter into the pitch. And uh, Fielder said, Thank you very much. As simple as you like. The sing inning comes to an end. Ten runs of ten balls. 64 for three. That's what sport's about. You may not get the results, but here we go. Just like that. Have a look at this shot. That's what we're talking about. Recognising those moments. That's a powerful strike. But that's going to help. Or has he got enough of it? He has not. It's gone straight down Vivek Singh's throat. And he holds it high as if, as if he's lifting the FA Cup. And it's the fourth wicket to go down. But it's a good contribution. 38 of 28 balls. 92 for four. And Badal Singh Balian comes out to the middle. That's a lovely strike. That's high. And that's a double decker. Finds the outside edge, and it's almost a really, it's a really good diving effort. Just beaten the outstretched arms. 
but he's taken that on and that is glorious one bounce four that's a nice looking shot too and you know what that's just going to beat the fielder it's going to make it back to back boundaries and again not quite got hold of it and the fielder still can't cut it off and that is the third four of the over he takes it on and he goes big he goes really big that's massive expensive over 21 runs coming off it someone who's been bowling so well that's been flicked away and the boundary bludgeoning continues and that's another six Give me another four. This over already gone for 10 in just the first two deliveries. This has been two potentially game changing overs, really expensive. Similar to Deepak Kumar with the left hand, but this time he misses the length and pays the price. That's a terrific shot. And that's gone aerial, and it's going to land safe, and he's going to bring up his 50, and they're going to come back for a second. And that's a really impressive batting performance young man yes wave your bat his first 50 gets all the applause and lots of smiles from the diamonds dugout that's chipped up in the air fielder coming round just manages to get there Kaushik matey really impressive performance he's aware of that boundary rope he holds his arms out wide like an aeroplane and they finally have the wicket. Subami brings up his 50 and the very next delivery he has to go. That was a super catch. Shubham Sharkar batted really well for his 51. Diamonds 162 for five. Moved across early, not quite got a hold of it. Kaushik matey has got to do more running. And doesn't have to scoop it up in the end. Deepak Kumar and, well, there's a lot of confusion in the middle. And after all of that excitement, he's going to have to go, run out. Big mix up in the middle. They ran the first one hard. They had the clear idea, come back for the second. Badal Singh came, stop, James, stop. Yes, no, yes, no. In the end, I'm sorry. Yeah, if Munish uh, Mehta had kept running, he would have had a chance, but nevertheless, the damage has been already done. Punish gone for three, 166 for six. They brought the dust. Well, best of 16. Final delivery, and they're just going to settle for one. Never a chance of a two there. Really good over that from Anubhav in the end. Seven runs and the wicket, and that finishes the 20 overs. Harbour Diamonds, they make 169 for six. Well, it was their most impressive with the bat than yesterday's almost freak chase. They put up 169 for six, so... The Wizards are going to need 170 if they want to straight up qualify. Rashmi Medinpur Wizards, they need to score 170 to win in 20 overs. Ridhiman Saha, he has relatively quiet for his standards. 61 runs only. Very good strike rate for opening batter. One half century already. Mohamed Kaif, who has been very good. Economy under seven and a half for a fast bowler in India. Right on the money. Some swing as well. Outside edge and oh, that was an easy catch. Exactly the start what the Harbour Diamonds were looking for. Wickets early doors with the new ball, and that one was an easy catch being dropped by another Vivek Singh. Vivek dropped by Vivek. This time straight down the ground, middle of the bat, and probably went the distance as well. Yes, confirmed by the umpire. Comes down the track again. This time, oh, extra cover going with the swing. Expensive over, a drop catch, what a start. One done, 16 for no loss. First one, in swing, second one, out. in swing as well, this is a good catch. I thought it bisected the gap and the misery of this league for Ritiman Sah continues and the Harbour Diamonds picks up their man. Goes for one from four deliveries, 16 for one. Priyanshu Srivastav, the highest run getter. That's much better, leading edge, over short bit off, that's unlucky for Shubham. This is much better, much better, much more in control. One bounce over mid on for a boundary. Back of the length and passes the fine leg. 
That's a good shot by Priyanshu. Man in form. Just like that. Outside and that takes it. That's enough movement. Exactly what Monty Panasa was talking about. Coming round the wicket and taking it away. And this time it's Vivek Singh. Easily taken by the wicket keeper. And Vivek Singh goes for 23 of 9 deliveries, 31 for 2. 26 runs, 128 in strike rate, one half century. He'll probably want to improve on those numbers. Shot in the gap and spoils the over. In the air, in the gap. That's a good shot by Sudip Chatterji. Aerial but extremely effective. Well, that didn't come out the hand like he wanted it to, and that will break the shackles, and that's going to be six. That's lovely. That's just bisected those two fielders perfectly central through the two of them, and in the end, 14 runs coming from that over. Eight, up, eight gone, 62 for two. Well, he tried to take that on. He's not got a hold of it fully, but he's going to pick up four. Shirts. He's taken that on. Has he got a hold of it? Yes, he has. That is 10 rows back and brings up the 50 partnership. He takes it on, goes back over the bowler's head. Fielder can't get round and cut it off. And that's going to be another four. Gone, gone, gone. He is now on his third 50 for the season of the Sabisco Bengal Pro T20 League. 12 gone, 101 for two. Class and quality oozing from that one. Has he got enough? Oh, another four. Again through the gap, he can do no wrong. All he needs to do is put bat on ball and he seems to go to the gap. Is that what form does to you? It wasn't that short by Anurag. Rock backed and he knew exactly where the fielder was and he placed it perfect. Great shot. That is Sudhir Chatterjee's uh, strength, the square cut. He certainly will. Is he clear that he has? NRR time. That's going for four. This is a good shot. Mid off in the circle. Manoj Tiwari had no chance, and I think it's gone all the way as well. And uh, brings up the 50 for the captain. Second one of the league. See the animation. Exactly what everyone is uh, supporting the captain. He's under pressure. He has been magnificent. on that and is it going to race away well when it's going your way it's going your way and when it's not it's not well that was there to be hit and everyone just stands with hands on hips and watches it race to the boundary that's nicely played nice looking shot and they're going to pick up four so now they need just two and that's the game it's going for four, and Priyanshu steers them home. He has guided this chase magnificently, and he hugs his captain. Unbeaten half centuries for both of them. The Wizards are into the semi-final. They beat the Harbour Diamonds by eight wickets, and they're flooding onto the field. There's hugs all round in the middle. They know that this has been an incredible chase, the highest of Sabisco Bengal Pro T20 League, and it has just been a magnificent chase, clinical, Brianshu and Chatterjee, what a partnership this has been. What a knock and what a win for the Wizards. So the Harbour Diamonds, they put up 169. It was not enough for the batting of Brianshu and Chatterjee. And let's hear from the Harbour Diamonds captain.